Hey, 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 welcome back to Feral Art, or uh, welcome to Feral Art. How you doing? Mm. Today, this evening, this morning, whatever time of day it is for you, we have a 12 by 24 level 3 gallery craft artist loft canvas. Too many words. Words are hard. Um... And this is the Nate's Art Lab collab edition. Chapter Pearls. Special guest, Sarah Taylor. Woo! Um, so thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, participants. Thank you, world. Uh, <laughs> today, we have your basic... Um, wait a minute, that's not what I want. Your basic um, pearl base... Um, I got the recipe from Tracy from Perfection Art by Tracy, and you will find the recipe in my description box. We also have Blick Fluid Ultramarine Blue, Blick Fluid Ultramarine Violet, Liquitex Basic Fluid Medium Magenta that I just spilled all over the Fully table. All right. <laughs> now that I cleaned that up, <clears throat> let's just get down here on the canvas and uh, do the thing. So let's get this on this canvas. put on here. I don't know, but I'm going to put it in this nine ounce cup up to somewhere around eight and we're going to do something. Maybe a ring pour, traveling ring pour across. A little pink. <laughs> My half cup of pink that I have left. Yes, I am waving the white flag. I beautiful very liquidy cup I really prefer enjoy more working with thicker paints however it is good to challenge ourselves and for me <laughs> the paint is challenge so what do we want to do we need to start it because it's already starting to dry so let's just do a little ringy ding colors. I don't really know how much good this is going to do because there's a lot of paint already. And I'll splat, splat, splitty splat. Because I like splitty splats. Alright, so it, whoo, look at this. Look at that there. Good creep. Got the shadow all the way around. That's cool. Let us tilt.
start seeing pearls, you just don't have a lot of time left. Let's have a good time night of the century. Our best days can't be done. All the good times turn into memories and the revelry goes on. Let's have a good time night of the century. Our best days can't be done. Okay, our paint is pretty slowly moving at this point. a little bit and then I'm gonna take y'all down to see in a few minutes we'll see what happens between cleanup and show and tell life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown Okay, I don't think we have to worry about our pearl mix being ineffective. What do you think? Gee whiz. Okay, so these are our wet results. We've got some pretty looking pearls here. Just a whole mass of them. Look at that. They just went nuts. And here I was thinking, oh, I don't know. I think I've got the right consistency. Yeah, I guess I did. I love how it looks like the pearls are floating, or if you're looking down through pearly clouds or down through a school of pearly jellyfish. I think it's pretty cool. I like that right there, that little foggy looking wispy place. Look at these pearls though. Wow, we, that's neat. Got some big old boulder pearls. Nice. And I like this cloudy area up here that's just sort of moody, stormy looking. That was my aim with the little stripes and splashes and stuff was just to give that a little something. But I think this turned out pretty good. I do, I do. And I like the way, well, especially before the pearls just went bananas. It went from blue and gold to sort of this blue gold purple and then the pink started working in look at that one little pink pearl ah it's so cute anyway i think it turned out pretty good what do you think you reckon we got any sparkle let's see start down here oh, yep oh look at that golden iridescent gold deep fine yes yes 
Yes, yes. Look at that, just glimmers. Isn't that pretty? Looky, looky. Looky, looky, looky. So pretty. I love that. I love that pink that's popping in there. I didn't know. I was like, I don't know, Kel. Pink, really? Oh, yeah, really. So yeah, that turned out really nice. I like it. I like the way that... I love that. I love the little crevices where you can still see through. Not a lot of those on this one because the pearls went nuts. But yeah, we definitely got glimmer. Glimmer shimmer. Very nice. Okay. I see you when we is dry. Here are the dried results of my pearl pour for Nate's Art Lab collaboration. My pearls got really big. I've got some little ones. I've got some jellyfish looking ones. I just got all kinds of stuff. And these just grew and grew and grew until it looks like cracks in the ice again there is color in there i promise and it goes from this sort of blue and purple and gold and if i go to my left which i'm not i'm going to the right i'll do that in a second it's sort of a gradient it's just hard to see because the light out here is lousy but we ended up with some cloudy stuff and some interesting stuff and some pearly stuff. Oh yeah. And here's the blue and purple and gold. Blue and purple and gold. We start seeing a little pink. And there's some more pink and more pink. <laughs> and then it's just kind of gone. But the colors are really pretty. I wish I had some sun. Let's see. I do, but you still can't see, really. Anyway, thanks, Nate, for putting together another spectacular collab. And thanks to Sarah for being our guest. And uh, before you go, make sure that subscribe button is pushed. Give me a thumbs up if you like this painting. Leave me a comment, because I like talking to y'all. Aight. Aight.